hello there it's eric again and welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to do a comparison between android 12 l on my right side and then stable android 12 right here so when we check out the build number we are going to see s2 b3 that is beta 3 and then there's the stable version right here sp 1a in case you are using it you're going to know this is a stable version right here so there's a google pixel 6 right here and then there's a google pixel 3 xl uh, without further ado let's just dive into the video so when android 12 l was released we found out that there were no much changes in the OS, but there are some few things we can see right here. So the first thing I'm going to be sharing with you is a notification shade. When you go to your notification shade, and in case you don't have any notifications, you are going to see that on the Android L, the no notification lies in between the space right here, but with the stable, it lies at the top right here. So you can see the slight difference we have right here, and that is basically very cool. So this is one of the changes I saw when I updated my phone to the Android 12 L Beta 3. So the next changes I also found was within the internet toggles. So with this one, the internet toggles, in case you swipe down like this, even when your screen is locked, you can still turn off and on internet toggles and it has a different display too. So when I tap on this one, it's gonna ask me to input my password before I'm gonna be able to access the internet toggles. But with this, when I tap on it, it's gonna just um, pop up like this and I can turn off and on right here whilst I've not even unlocked my device right here. And that is pretty much very cool. So you can see my device is still locked. But with this, I have to open with a password before the internet toggles are gonna pop up. And even when I open with a password, you can see that the difference is very, very clear. You can see the internet toggles like this. And that is pretty much very cool. So this is one of the changes too I noticed when I updated my phone to Android 12 L. The next changes I saw when I updated my phone to Android 12, which I think is my favorite, is the Dean wallpapers and style. So in case maybe I press hold on my screen like this and I try going to my wallpapers and style or going to my widgets, you can see that on my screen right here, it's a different display I have, which is very, very nice. And with this side, you can even just tap on this section right now and then just change your um, wallpaper from here. And that is pretty much very cool. I can just tap on this side to change my wallpaper directly from here and there will be no issues. But with the Android 12, the stable Android 12, I would have to go inside of the wallpaper and style before I'll be able to change my wallpaper. So I think Android should have made stable Android 12 version like how they did the Android 12 L right here. Cause changing your wallpaper right direct from the screen is very, very nice. And one thing too I noticed was the way they've arranged it. So you can see we have home settings right here, widgets which stays in between still and then wallpaper and style. And with this one, we have wallpaper and style and then widgets and then home settings. So you can see the difference right here and it is pretty much very cool. So this is one of the changes I found when I updated my phone to Android 12 L. And actually I think I'll be very, very grateful if Google make this difference or make our stable Android 12 have this feature right here. And it's pretty much very cool. In case you like this feature too, just let me know in the comment section or just give this video a thumbs up so that it reaches a lot of people. And let's check out the next feature too. So next thing I noticed too was the toggles we have on our phone right here. So when I go to my home settings and then we check out the toggles right here. So you can see that on the Android 12 L, the toggles are bigger than the stable Android 12 and all the settings are the same. And then when you check out the home settings right here, you can see this lies at the left side and it's bigger. And then this lies at the top with some line beneath it right here. With the Android 12 L, it's plain and that makes a difference. So when you swipe down like this, you're gonna see the toggles are just different, but the settings are the same, no changes right here. So that is what I noticed too when I updated my phone to Android 12 L. So basically these are the changes I've seen so far and everything aside from what I highlighted in this video are still the same. The settings are the same. We go to our settings, everything is the same. We have no changes in settings or anything. No displays are different. Everything is the same except for the settings that came with the Google Pixel 6 right here. That is different on this phone. Apart from that, all the default Android 12 settings we have on this device is the same as this one we have right here. And the toggles and the settings too are the same compared to the ones we had in the home settings. The toggles we have here are the same. So if this video was very helpful, just give it a thumbs up. In case you wanna install Android 12 L Beta 3 on your devices too, just check out this video and then make a day, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my next video, which I'm gonna be covering the stable Android 12 L in case it's being released to the public. I actually make a video on how you're going to be able to downgrade your google pixel 6 and 6 pro to stable android 12 again so in case you want to know that video to subscribe to the channel and wait for my next video and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace